Hey, Mama. Mm. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, and escaping. <laughs> Bye, Mo. Bye, bye. So, uh. something's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Take two. So, something's come up on the internet recently called manspreading. Um, and it's basically this thing where men are sitting with their legs apart. That's it. There's a thing in um, New York at the minute on like one of their forms of transport. It's like a metal box on wheels and it goes like choo-choos. They're basically saying that men take up too much space, spreading their legs, and if you could be more considerate because it's a space issue. Certain people, men and women, are saying that it goes too far because it's basically men asserting their dominance or some absolute crap like that. It's not often that I go sort of on this side of an argument where like I'm against sort of an, an argument for like supposed male privilege or something, but this is just such crap. Yeah, it's, I, I can't help but get annoyed about it. <laughs> it's the PC brigade gone mad, it's the bad side of Tumblr, it's... It's just everything I hate. Where are they got social justice warriors? It's SJWs just going nuts about something that they don't need to go nuts about. Going nuts, I see what you did there. Lyle, I didn't realise I pawned! Men sit with their legs apart, and here's the spoiler, guys. We've got testicles. I've seen lots of arguments against this guy, like, going, oh, your balls aren't that big, and oh, it doesn't take up that much fucking space. Right, it is genuinely uncomfortable for a man to close his legs so that his knees are touching, okay? That's really uncomfortable. I've had to do it before on, like, buses and public transport where people have been so packed in that, like, I have to sit like that, and it's really not nice at all. Like, you get cramp up your thighs, your nuts start hurting, it's just not... It's not pleasant at all. But it's not just men that have this problem. Some women have it too. I can't sit with my legs closed. It's really uncomfortable for me. Like, I've got bigger thighs, and, like, trying to sit with my legs together, it just does not occur naturally for me. It's the same with that sort of legs together cross-legged thing. It just doesn't happen. It's not comfy at all. Um, so, I like, I see absolutely no problem with men, like, having their legs spread. Because I'll sit like that as well. It's, just, it's a comfortable way to sit. And I certainly don't think that anyone's asserting any kind of dominance over me. Or, as I actually saw one person argue on Tumblr, that it's their legs are spread to take up more room to show that they take up more room in society. There was a beautiful one that I saw where there was like a comment section on one of these posts about like man spreading or man sitting, whatever else you want to call it. And there was this one guy who was kind of like, well, like it is necessary sometimes because like we have external genitals and we have to make like a bit of room for them. And there was this other woman who just marched and was like, oh no, it's a metaphor for how like men uh, like taking up the patriarchy and like repressing women and it's to show that they like take up more space and in society and our lives in general. I was like, get the fuck off that high horse of yours. What even? It, there is, it's a practical thing, there's no symbolism behind it. We don't even think about it, we just sit down. Now then, the word sexist is something that women can use against men, but men aren't really allowed to use against women without raised eyebrows. But I'm gonna call it, this is a sexist campaign. Mm -hmm. It's not nice, um, and there's a very easy way that you can completely and totally avoid this situation. And we're gonna show you how to do that. Excuse me, could you let me budge up a wee bit? Oh yeah, sure. I think we found a simple solution to a problem that should never have fucking existed in the first place. Um, thumb the video if you agree that just fucking communicating to people would probably make the entire world a much better place, rather than just taking photos on your phone and putting it up on Tumblr and then whinging about it and then this whole fucking situation that doesn't need to exist in the first place. Yeah. And uh, if you're keen on getting the word out on this, uh, then please share the video and hopefully men can sit in peace once more. For now though, we will say see you next Saturday. Thanks for watching.